Welcome back everyone to Longmeister Gaming. Today we're going to be taking a look at some retro stuff, primarily the NES that I have. It's a top loader version. My classic is up in my YouTube studio. It does work, uh, but I wanted to show off my little retro station here. Let me zoom out so you can get a little bit better idea of some of this. Got the arcade machines on either end of the retro station. Get everything plugged into a switch there at the bottom of the table. That is an Arazi uh, gaming desk. Used to use for PC, uh, but not anymore. And uh, anyways, you notice there's no controllers plugged into anything right now. Today we'll be using this 8-bit do or 8-bit do controller. Uh, and I like to keep things wireless down here so there's not stuff strewn all over the place. Can't do that with any of the peripheral, like light guns or any kind of the rock band stuff uh, or Guitar Hero stuff or like the PlayStation 2, for example. That kind of stuff really can't be helped. But any chance I can, I do use these kind of little wireless controllers. So you'll see these in these kind of retro videos that I do. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get this set up here. And then that way... Uh, do a little over the shoulder here of me actually playing this. The reason I chose RC Pro-Am from my NES collection is this is hands down one of the favorite games that my girlfriend and I play together uh, along with Contra. Those are a couple of our favorites. And I also have selected for this video, you can see sitting up on top of the TV right now, there's another NES title up there. That is Gradius or Gradius, however you want to pronounce it. I pronounce it Gradius. Uh, that was the very first NES game that I ever owned. My NES did not come with Mario Brothers or Duck Hunt. I had to get them after the fact. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and try this out. I'll be back in just a second and get this set up. All right, hopefully you guys can hear me okay. We'll go ahead and get started. Like I said before, this is one of my uh, favorite games for my girlfriend and I to play. Also, along with Contra, we also uh, play like Paperboy and games like that. I just she she's like me. She has a tremendous amount of love for the NES system. I know her and her sister used to play their NES all the time when they were growing up. Now. Um, I also uh, cannot wait to show you guys a little uh, Gradius. It has been a while since I've played it, but I'm telling you, as the very first game, as the very first NES game that I ever had, it is just really, really special to me. And, and maybe some people don't care for Gradius as far as shmups go, but I've just I've always been a huge fan. Uh, but anyways, uh, if there are any games in my collection. Uh, that you'd like to see on the channel, or if you'd like to see any, you know, retro, additional retro gameplay, I would like to go through each one of my systems and do a video similar to this for the channel. Um, you know, just let me know down below. I am going to um, link a short video that I did that shows off all the titles of my NES collection. If you'd like to see a more in-depth uh, video, just let me know. I'm always happy to do stuff like this. This kind of stuff for my channel is, to me, is just way overdue. I finally had just a little mini uh, vacay from my uh, work here, and I've been able to do a few different things on the channel that I've not been able to do for a while. I'm sure you guys have noticed I've actually had some other content on the channel as opposed to just strictly gaming videos, and, uh, you know, that's nice. Ooh, he about got me there. Had to hit him with a, had to hit him with a rocket. So, I mean, we gotta have a first place finish, right? So, all right, well, that is it for RC Program. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to show it off and uh, we will go ahead and try out Gradius next. All right, we got ourselves some Gradius here. Now, I will say uh, one thing I wanna do real quick before we get started on this game, I wanna give a special shout out to a buddy of mine, uh, BJ. Uh, who hooked me up with this CRT, this old CRT television, and also uh, my brother as well, who also gave me a CRT television. It's basically my backup in case anything ever happens to this one. Uh, this being a classic Konami game, you guys do remember the classic code where you pause and you're up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, and boom! You get your upgrades and stuff, which is really cool. I was blown away as a kid 
when I first heard that you could do something like this. Obviously, when I first got the game, I had no idea you could do something like this. It's not like, you know, you had very easy access to a bunch of stuff. Um, as far as information and things go, you know, you had the old school Nintendo Power, which, my goodness, I got rid of all my had, like, Every edition of Nintendo Power for the first several years that it was out, oh, I can't imagine if I had held on to that stuff. Uh, but anyways, yeah, just absolutely love Gradius. Again, you may pronounce it Gradius, uh, to each their own, uh, whatever. So, but uh, anyways, let me see here if I can get this. Get these things destroyed. Woo, about got hit there. Of course, I've also got this thing like fully maxed out because of that Konami code that I put in. It's it's totally cheating, right? But uh, hey, you know, we'll go through here and get our one up, which is cool. There we go. But yeah, I, like I said, I just wanted to show this off to you guys. I talk about my retro collection and I show it in the. Uh, YouTube studio room and stuff, like all the games and stuff, but I do have the consoles. I have this little area down here for retro gaming. I know it's not much, guys, but it is just, it's so much fun, especially when you have over company, especially, you know, people who grew up with this stuff, and they just get a kick out of seeing this stuff again, and uh, let's see here. Let's go over here and do this, if I can, without getting killed. Nope, didn't do it. I, th I thought you could get a, I can't remember, well, like I said, it's been a while. I thought you could get like a bonus or extra life or something right there. But uh, anyways, yeah guys, uh, you know, just wanted to show this stuff off to you. And if there's anything else on the channel that you'd like to see as far as the retro stuff goes, I've got a Super Nintendo down here, a Sega Genesis, an N64, a Sega Dreamcast, a Nintendo GameCube, and a PlayStation 2. Uh, and I can even go over some of the peripherals and stuff if you guys want. I do have the original NES controllers. I've also got, um, like, the uh, light gun for Duck Hunt, that kind of stuff. Uh, I think I've got an NES Max here, I think. Uh, anyways, but, like, for the PS2, I've got, like, the uh, gun cons uh, uh, for Time Crisis, that kind of stuff. And then for the uh, Dreamcast, I've got, like, the guns for it as well. And the, um, like, House of the Dead 2 and stuff, which is just... Awesome, one of my favorites. My brother and I, we love to play light gun games. Uh, we haven't ha had a chance to play, play them in a bit, but I mean, they're just so much fun. Uh, but anyways, let me know down in the comments below what your favorite NES title uh, is, or if you have any uh, NES games, uh, if you enjoy seeing content like this. Uh, anyways, thanks so much for watching, and until the next one, guys, Longmeister out. Peace.